This study is special because it was the first human study that confirmed what we'd already found in an animal model over the past 30 years, and that is that ingesting alcohol induces the release of endogenous opioids, otherwise known as endorphins, in your brain. The amount of endogenous opioid release actually correlates with how much you like the alcohol, how rewarding the alcohol is to you. Over the past 30 years, there have been several different hypotheses for how alcohol induces reward in, in the human brain. One of those uh, is that perhaps alcohol itself acts at an opioid receptor and makes you feel good, makes you feel pleasure by doing so, and that it was also possible that the alcohol induced the release of one of these endorphins and that the endorphin in turn acted on an opioid receptor. And so our study demonstrates that it's the latter hypothesis. One of the most important things that has happened in the addiction field over the past 20 years is the emergence of the idea that addiction really does represent a disease of the nervous system induced by uh, taking drugs or alcohol. There are two uh, reasons why this has happened. One of them is uh, that people have found specific genetic risk factors which have to be biologically based. But the other technical advance has been the development of functional imaging. Because what functional imaging allows us to do that we, never, we could never do before is see what's going on in the living human brain when people engage in abnormal or normal behaviors. It is a very simple and elegant study design, but it took a lot of different people to pull it off and make it a reality. We had two groups of subjects. We had a group of heavy social drinkers and a group of healthy controls. And both subject groups got scanned twice, once before ingesting a drink of alcohol and then again after. The first injection of carfentanil gives us a map of everywhere in the human brain that there are opioid binding sites. And then when we give the subject a drink of alcohol, and give them a second injection of carfentanil, that alcohol induces the release of endorphins or endogenous opioids in the brain. And therefore, the carfentanil, when it's injected again, has nowhere to bind. In summary, what we've demonstrated is that alcohol does induce the release of endogenous opioids in the brain, and that those endogenous opioids then act at the opioid receptor to induce feelings of reward and pleasure. I think it's also important to emphasize that taking a drink of alcohol changes your brain chemistry in a reliable way and in a way that helps us to understand how a drug like naltrexone actually works. Presumably naltrexone blocks the effect of the release of those endorphins and actually limits the amount of further drinking. Our main objective is to create a more specific and effective drug for alcohol abuse and dependence. And this is the first step in this process. We have to look at the other opioid receptors as well to determine how they're acting.